To make the logo, I downloaded an appropriate font from the web, saved it to my computer and then used the letters to form the logo. I had to be careful when I aligned the letters. I saved the logo into its own image file and cleaned up the image, removing all the greys so there was only black text on a white background. That's important. I loaded the image into 3D Builder. This is a program that comes free with Windows 10. I played with various settings until I was happy with the result. And then removed the unwanted bottom half of the letters. I resized the letter so the logo was the correct size, but I maintained the aspect ratio. Saving the file as a 3MF file allows me to edit it in the future. Saving the file as an STL file allows me to load it into the program that creates the printer code. I loaded the STL file into the program that creates the printer code. This printer code is called G-Code and I sliced the image. I then saved the G-Code file. This G-Code file can now be used to print the item.